here are some Bible verses that discuss Jesus' non-divinity. Philippians 2 verses 6-7 Who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage, rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. John 14 verse 28 You heard me say, I am going away and I am coming back to you. If you loved me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. Mark 13 verse 32 But about that day or hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Matthew 24 verse 36 But about that day or hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. John 5 verse 19 Jesus gave them this answer, Very truly, I tell you, the Son can do nothing by Himself, He can do only what He sees His Father doing, because whatever the Father does the Son also does. These verses highlight the belief that Jesus, while divine, is not equal to God the Father in terms of authority and knowledge. They emphasize Jesus' role as a servant and His dependence on the Father. Chapter 1 Introduction to the Debate over Jesus' Divinity the Trinity in Christian Doctrine. The doctrine of the Trinity is a fundamental belief in traditional Christian theology. It asserts that God exists as three distinct persons, the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, yet is one God. This concept is based on various passages in the Bible that suggest the three persons of the Godhead are co-equal and co-eternal. However, there are differing views on the Trinity, with some Christians questioning the divinity of Jesus Christ. These individuals point to various Bible verses that they believe support the idea that Jesus is not God. This has led to a debate within Christian circles about the nature of Jesus and His relationship to the Father. When exploring the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity, it is important to consider the cultural and societal factors that influence beliefs about Jesus' nature. The role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' true identity cannot be understated, as different versions of the Bible may present varying perspectives on this issue. Furthermore, rejecting traditional Christian teachings on Jesus' nature can have significant theological implications, impacting religious practices and beliefs. It is essential to engage in a comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts to gain a comprehensive understanding of this complex theological issue. In conclusion, the Trinity remains a central tenet of Christian doctrine, but the debate over Jesus' divinity continues to challenge traditional beliefs. By examining key biblical passages, historical context, and alternative interpretations, Christians can deepen their understanding of Jesus' nature and its implications for their faith. Historical Background of the Debate The historical background of the debate surrounding Jesus' divinity is a complex and multifaceted issue that has been the subject of intense theological discussion for centuries. The roots of this debate can be traced back to the early days of the Christian Church, when questions about the nature of Jesus and His relationship to God began to arise. One of the key reasons for the debate over Jesus' divinity is the interpretation of biblical texts that speak to His identity. While many Christians believe that Jesus is God incarnate, there are others who point to verses in the Bible that they believe suggest otherwise. This has led to a comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts, with scholars and theologians examining how various faith traditions understand and interpret these crucial passages. The debate over Jesus' divinity also has significant theological implications. For many Christians, the belief in Jesus as God is foundational to their faith, and rejecting this idea can challenge core doctrines of Christianity. This has sparked a discussion about the role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' nature, as well as the implications of His humanity for His perceived divinity. Cultural and societal factors also play a role in shaping beliefs about Jesus' nature. Different cultures and religious traditions have influenced how people understand and interpret the person of Jesus, leading to a diverse range of perspectives on His divinity. This has sparked debates about the impact of beliefs about Jesus' nature on religious practices and beliefs, as well as the role of biblical scholarship in shaping views on this contentious issue.
Overall, the historical background of the debate over Jesus' divinity is a rich and complex topic that continues to be a subject of intense discussion and debate among Christians and scholars alike. By exploring the various factors that have shaped beliefs about Jesus' nature, we can gain a deeper understanding of this important theological issue and its implications for our faith. Purpose and Scope of the Book The purpose of this book, Challenging the Trinity, 50 Bible Verses on Jesus' Non-Divinity, is to provide a comprehensive exploration of the debate surrounding the nature of Jesus as it is presented in the Bible. This book is aimed at Christian readers who are open to questioning traditional beliefs and delving deeper into the scriptures to uncover alternative perspectives on Jesus' divinity. The scope of this book is wide-ranging, covering a variety of topics related to the deity of Jesus and the implications of rejecting the idea that He is God. Through a comparative study of different religious texts, readers will gain insight into how beliefs about Jesus' nature vary across different faith traditions. The historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity will be explored, shedding light on how theological perspectives have evolved over time. This book will analyze the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God, examining how this belief impacts religious practices and beliefs. The role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' nature will also be investigated, highlighting how different interpretations of key biblical passages can shape views on Jesus' divinity. Overall, this book aims to challenge readers to critically examine their beliefs about Jesus' nature and consider alternative interpretations of Scripture. By exploring the cultural, societal, and historical factors that influence beliefs about Jesus, readers will gain a deeper understanding of the complex and multifaceted nature of this theological debate. Chapter 2 Give Me 50 Verses from the Bible Why Jesus is Not God Old Testament Verses in the subchapter Old Testament verses of the book Challenging the Trinity, 50 Bible Verses on Jesus' Non-Divinity, we delve into the roots of the debate over Jesus' nature as it is portrayed in the Old Testament. For many Christians, the Old Testament serves as the foundation of their faith, providing a rich tapestry of narratives, prophecies, and teachings that shape their understanding of God and His relationship to humanity. One of the key arguments put forth in this subchapter is the idea that Jesus is not God, based on a careful examination of Old Testament verses that seem to point towards this conclusion. By comparing and contrasting these verses with New Testament passages that are often used to support the divinity of Jesus, readers are encouraged to critically analyze the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God. Furthermore, this subchapter explores the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity, shedding light on the cultural and societal factors that have influenced beliefs about Jesus' nature throughout the centuries. By investigating the role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' true identity, readers are challenged to consider alternative interpretations of key biblical passages related to Jesus' divinity. Ultimately, the subchapter Old Testament verses serves as a thought-provoking exploration of the implications of rejecting traditional Christian teachings on Jesus' nature. By engaging with the biblical text in a rigorous and scholarly manner, readers are invited to deepen their understanding of Jesus' humanity and its significance for His perceived divinity. New Testament Verses The New Testament is often seen as the cornerstone of Christian belief containing the teachings and actions of Jesus Christ. However, there are verses within the New Testament that challenge the traditional belief in the Trinity, specifically the divinity of Jesus. These verses raise questions about the nature of Jesus and His relationship to God. In this subchapter on New Testament verses, we will delve into 50 Bible verses that challenge the notion of Jesus as God. These verses provide a different perspective on the identity of Jesus and His role in salvation. By examining these verses, we can gain a deeper understanding of the complexities surrounding the debate over Jesus' divinity. Through a comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts, we can explore how various belief systems interpret the nature of Jesus. This comparative approach allows us to see how different religious traditions understand the person of Jesus and His relationship to God. Furthermore, by analyzing the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity, we can uncover the cultural and societal factors that have influenced beliefs about Jesus' nature. 
Understanding the context in which these debates took place can shed light on the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God. Ultimately, this subchapter aims to challenge traditional Christian teachings on Jesus' divinity and encourage readers to explore alternative interpretations of key biblical passages. By investigating the implications of rejecting traditional beliefs about Jesus' nature, we can open up new avenues for dialogue and reflection on the person of Jesus and His role in our lives. Interpretations of Key Verses In the ongoing debate over Jesus' divinity, interpretations of key verses in the Bible play a crucial role in shaping beliefs and practices among Christians. These interpretations not only influence individual understandings of Jesus' nature, but also have broader theological and societal implications. One common argument against the belief in Jesus as God is the interpretation of specific Bible verses that seem to suggest His non-divinity. For example, in John 14 verse 28, Jesus Himself says, The Father is greater than I. This verse is often cited by those who reject the idea of Jesus being equal to God the Father. Similarly, in Mark 13 verse 32, Jesus states that no one knows the day or hour of His return, not even the Son, but only the Father. This verse raises questions about Jesus' omniscience and omnipotence, key attributes of God. A comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts can shed light on alternative interpretations of key verses related to Jesus' divinity. By examining how other faith traditions view Jesus, Christians can gain a deeper understanding of the historical and cultural factors that have influenced interpretations of these verses. Furthermore, exploring the role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' nature is essential in unraveling the complexities of the debate over his divinity. The nuances of language and context can greatly impact how verses are understood and applied in theological discussions. Ultimately, interpretations of key verses related to Jesus' divinity have far-reaching implications for Christian beliefs and practices. By delving into the historical, cultural, and theological dimensions of these interpretations, Christians can engage in meaningful dialogue and reflection on the nature of Jesus and His relationship to God. Chapter 3 A Comparative Study of the Deity of Jesus in Different Religious Texts Views on Jesus in Islam In Islam, Jesus holds a significant position as a revered prophet, but his nature differs greatly from the Christian belief in his divinity. Muslims believe in the oneness of God, known as Ta'id, and reject the concept of the Trinity. Therefore, the views on Jesus in Islam are centered around his role as a prophet and messenger of God, rather than as a divine figure. From an Islamic perspective, Jesus, known as Isa in Arabic, is considered to be a human being who was born to the Virgin Mary through a miraculous birth. He is highly respected for his teachings and miracles, but Muslims do not believe that he is the Son of God or part of a triune Godhead. Instead, Jesus is seen as a servant of God who was given a specific mission to guide the children of Israel. The Quran, the holy book of Islam, emphasizes the humanity of Jesus and portrays him as a prophet who preached monotheism and called people to worship Allah alone. Surah Al-Ma'idah, 5 hours 75 minutes, explicitly states that Jesus was only a messenger of God, similar to other prophets before him. This contrasts sharply with the Christian belief in Jesus' divinity and his sacrificial role in atoning for the sins of humanity. For Christians seeking to understand the Islamic perspective on Jesus, exploring the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God is essential. It challenges traditional beliefs and opens up discussions on the nature of Jesus' humanity and the cultural influences that shape our views on religious figures. By delving into the views on Jesus in Islam, Christians can gain a deeper appreciation for the diversity of beliefs surrounding this central figure in both faith traditions. Views on Jesus in Judaism In the subchapter titled Views on Jesus in Judaism, we delve into the unique perspective that Judaism offers on the nature of Jesus. For Christians, Jesus is often revered as the Son of God and part of the Holy Trinity. However, in Judaism, Jesus is not seen as divine in any way. Judaism, as a monotheistic religion, strictly adheres to the belief in one God. This belief is deeply rooted in the teachings of the Torah and the Talmud, which form the basis of Jewish faith. According to Jewish tradition, 
Jesus was a Jewish rabbi who lived during the first century, but he was not the Messiah or the Son of God. Instead, he was seen as a teacher and a prophet, but not as a divine figure. The rejection of Jesus' divinity in Judaism has led to a stark contrast in beliefs between Christians and Jews. While Christians worship Jesus as God incarnate, Jews do not accept him as such. This difference in interpretation has been a source of tension and debate between the two religious groups for centuries. By exploring the views on Jesus in Judaism, we can gain a deeper understanding of the diversity of beliefs about Jesus' nature. This comparative study sheds light on the cultural and historical factors that shape our perceptions of Jesus and the implications of rejecting traditional Christian teachings on His divinity. Ultimately, it challenges us to critically examine our beliefs and consider alternative interpretations of key biblical passages related to Jesus' nature. Views on Jesus in Other Religions In the chapter Views on Jesus in Other Religions, we delve into how different faiths perceive Jesus and His divinity. While Christianity views Jesus as the Son of God and part of the Holy Trinity, other religions have varying interpretations of His nature. For example, in Islam, Jesus, known as Isa, is considered a prophet and messenger of Allah, but not divine. Muslims believe in the oneness of God and reject the concept of a triune God. Similarly, in Judaism, Jesus is not recognized as the Messiah or divine figure, but rather a historical figure. Hinduism, on the other hand, has a more complex view of Jesus. Some Hindus see him as a guru or spiritual teacher, while others view him as an avatar of the god Vishnu. This diversity of beliefs highlights the rich tapestry of religious thought surrounding Jesus. Exploring these different perspectives can lead to a deeper understanding of the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God. It also allows us to reflect on the cultural and societal factors that shape our beliefs about Jesus' nature. By examining the role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' divinity, we can gain insight into how our understanding of religious texts shapes our beliefs. Additionally, investigating the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity can shed light on the evolution of Christian theology. Ultimately, exploring the views on Jesus in other religions challenges us to consider alternative interpretations of key biblical passages and the impact of these beliefs on religious practices and beliefs. It encourages us to engage in dialogue with those of different faiths and deepen our understanding of the complex nature of religious belief. Chapter 4, Exploring the Historical Context of the Debate Over Jesus' Divinity Early Christian Beliefs About Jesus Early Christian beliefs about Jesus were diverse and complex, reflecting the theological debates of the time. While some early Christians viewed Jesus as fully divine, others saw him as a human prophet or teacher. The New Testament contains various passages that highlight Jesus' humanity, such as his birth, growth, and death. These verses challenge the traditional Christian doctrine of the Trinity, which asserts that Jesus is co-equal and co-eternal with God the Father. A comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts reveals that beliefs about Jesus' nature varied widely among early Christian communities. Some early Christian sects, such as the Ebionites and Arians, rejected the idea of Jesus as God, emphasizing instead his role as a messenger of God. These groups drew on different biblical passages to support their views, highlighting the importance of interpretation in shaping beliefs about Jesus' divinity. Exploring the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity sheds light on the cultural and societal factors that influenced early Christian beliefs. The rise of the Roman Empire and the spread of Christianity led to theological disputes over the nature of Jesus, with different factions vying for dominance. The role of biblical scholarship in shaping views on Jesus' divinity cannot be understated, as scholars continue to debate the interpretation of key passages related to Jesus' nature. In conclusion, the early Christian beliefs about Jesus were diverse and influenced by a variety of factors. By examining the historical, cultural, and theological context of these beliefs, we can gain a deeper understanding of the debates surrounding Jesus' divinity and the implications of rejecting traditional Christian teachings on His nature. Councils and Controversies in Church History 
councils and controversies in church history have played a significant role in shaping the understanding of Jesus' nature and divinity within Christianity. From the early days of the church, there have been debates and disagreements over the nature of Jesus, whether he is truly God, truly man, or a combination of both. One of the most famous controversies in church history is the Arian controversy, which centered around the teachings of Arius, a priest from Alexandria. Arius argued that Jesus was a created being and therefore not equal to God the Father. This led to the First Council of Nicaea in 325 AD, where the Nicene Creed was formulated to affirm the divinity of Jesus as being of the same substance as the Father. Over the centuries, there have been various other councils and debates regarding the nature of Jesus, including the Council of Chalcedon in 451 AD, which defined the two natures of Christ fully human and fully divine. These councils were crucial in establishing the orthodox understanding of Jesus' nature within Christianity. For those who question the traditional Christian teachings on Jesus' divinity, it is essential to examine the historical context of these debates and the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God. It is also important to consider the role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' nature, as well as the cultural and societal factors that influence beliefs about Him. By exploring alternative interpretations of key biblical passages related to Jesus' divinity and engaging with biblical scholarship, Christians can deepen their understanding of Jesus' humanity and its implications for His perceived divinity. Ultimately, the debates and controversies in church history serve as a reminder of the complexity and mystery of Jesus' nature, inviting believers to wrestle with these profound theological questions in their faith journey. Modern Perspectives on Jesus' Divinity in recent years, there has been a resurgence in the exploration of modern perspectives on Jesus' divinity among Christian scholars and theologians. This shift in focus has led to a re-examination of traditional beliefs and interpretations surrounding the nature of Jesus Christ. One key aspect that has been emphasized in this discussion is the importance of examining the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity. By delving into the cultural and societal factors that influenced beliefs about Jesus' nature in the early Christian era, scholars have gained a deeper understanding of the development of the doctrine of the Trinity. Moreover, the role of biblical scholarship in shaping views on Jesus' divinity cannot be understated. Through a comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts, researchers have been able to uncover alternative interpretations of key biblical passages related to Jesus' nature. This has challenged traditional Christian teachings and opened up new avenues for exploring the complexities of Jesus' humanity and perceived divinity. Furthermore, by investigating the implications of rejecting traditional Christian teachings on Jesus' nature, scholars have sparked a renewed interest in the theological implications of such beliefs. This has led to discussions on how beliefs about Jesus' nature impact religious practices and beliefs, as well as the role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' true essence. Overall, the exploration of modern perspectives on Jesus' divinity offers a fresh and thought-provoking take on age-old theological debates. It invites Christians to engage in critical reflection and open dialogue about the nature of Jesus Christ, ultimately deepening their understanding of the complexities surrounding His divinity. Chapter 5 Analyzing the Theological Implications of Rejecting Jesus as God Implications for Salvation The implications for salvation are profound when considering the debate over Jesus' divinity. For Christians who believe in the traditional doctrine of the Trinity, Jesus is seen as both fully human and fully divine, playing a central role in the salvation of humanity. However, for those who challenge this belief and argue that Jesus is not God, the implications for salvation are far-reaching. If Jesus is not God, then the idea of His sacrificial death on the cross taking away the sins of the world is called into question. The concept of Jesus as the Son of God, who died for the sins of humanity, is foundational to Christian belief in salvation through faith in Christ. Without this belief in Jesus' divinity, the entire basis for salvation is called into question. Furthermore, if Jesus is not God, then the idea of His resurrection and ascension loses its significance. The resurrection of Jesus is seen as a demonstration of His victory over sin and death, providing hope for believers in their own resurrection and eternal life. 
If Jesus is not divine, then his resurrection loses its power and meaning in the Christian faith. Ultimately, the implications for salvation are tied to one's beliefs about the nature of Jesus. For those who reject the traditional Christian teaching that Jesus is God, salvation may be understood in a different way, based on different beliefs and interpretations of Scripture. This debate over Jesus' divinity has far-reaching implications for how Christians understand and experience salvation. Implications for the Nature of God The implications for the nature of God in the context of Jesus' non-divinity are far-reaching and profound. For Christians who have long held the belief in the Trinity as a central tenet of their faith, challenging the idea of Jesus as God raises questions about the very nature of God Himself. One of the key implications is the re-evaluation of the traditional understanding of God as a triune being. If Jesus is not God, as the Bible verses in this book suggest, then the doctrine of the Trinity must be reconsidered. This challenges the foundational beliefs of many Christians and forces them to rethink their understanding of the nature of God. Furthermore, the rejection of Jesus as God has implications for how Christians view the relationship between humanity and divinity. If Jesus is not God, then what does this say about the nature of God's interaction with humanity? Does it change the way Christians understand their own relationship with God and the role of Jesus in their faith? The implications also extend to the interpretation of key biblical passages and the role of translation and interpretation in shaping beliefs about Jesus' nature. By exploring alternative interpretations of these passages, Christians can gain a deeper understanding of the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity and how cultural and societal factors have influenced beliefs about Jesus' nature. In conclusion, challenging the Trinity and exploring the implications of Jesus' non-divinity for the nature of God is a complex and multifaceted issue that requires careful consideration and reflection. It invites Christians to engage in a deeper exploration of their faith and to re-examine their beliefs in light of new perspectives and interpretations. Implications for Christian Worship The debate over Jesus' divinity has significant implications for Christian worship. Understanding and accepting Jesus as God has been a central tenet of traditional Christian beliefs for centuries. However, as we delve into the topic of Jesus' non-divinity, it forces us to reconsider the way we approach worship and our relationship with Jesus. For those who have always believed in the Trinity, the idea of Jesus not being God may be unsettling. It challenges the very foundation of their faith and calls into question the nature of their worship. How do we approach Jesus in prayer if we do not see Him as divine? How do we sing hymns and praise songs that proclaim His deity? Exploring alternative interpretations of key biblical passages related to Jesus' divinity can lead to a re-evaluation of worship practices. It may prompt Christians to focus more on Jesus' teachings and example as a human being rather than as a divine figure. This shift in perspective can bring a deeper understanding of Jesus' humanity and His role as a guide and model for our own lives. As we grapple with the implications of rejecting traditional Christian teachings on Jesus' nature, it opens up new possibilities for how we worship and relate to Jesus. It challenges us to think critically about the ways in which our beliefs shape our religious practices and to consider how our understanding of Jesus' humanity can enrich our spiritual lives. Ultimately, the debate over Jesus' divinity has the potential to deepen our worship and strengthen our connection to Jesus in new and profound ways. Chapter 6 Investigating the Role of Translation and Interpretation in Understanding Jesus' Nature Challenges in Translating Biblical Texts Translating biblical texts can be a challenging task, especially when it comes to passages that touch on the nature of Jesus. In the book Challenging the Trinity, 50 Bible Verses on Jesus' Non-Divinity, the author delves into the complexities of translating and interpreting these sacred texts for a Christian audience. One of the main challenges in translating biblical texts related to Jesus' divinity is the inherent bias that can come from preconceived beliefs and theological frameworks. Many Christians have been raised with the belief in the Trinity, which posits that Jesus is part of a triune Godhead. However, the author challenges this traditional doctrine by presenting 50 Bible verses that suggest Jesus is not God. Another challenge in translating biblical texts on Jesus' nature is the historical context in which these passages were written. 
Understanding the cultural and societal factors that influence the authors of the Bible can shed light on the original intent behind these texts. Furthermore, the role of biblical scholarship in shaping views on Jesus' divinity cannot be understated. By examining alternative interpretations of key passages, scholars can provide new insights into the nature of Jesus and challenge traditional Christian teachings. Ultimately, the challenges in translating biblical texts on Jesus' divinity highlight the importance of approaching these sacred texts with an open mind and a willingness to explore different interpretations. By delving into the historical, cultural, and theological implications of these texts, Christians can deepen their understanding of Jesus' nature and the implications of rejecting traditional beliefs about His divinity. Interpretive Frameworks for Understanding Jesus In the realm of Christian theology, the nature of Jesus has been a topic of debate and discussion for centuries. As believers seek to understand the complexities of Jesus' identity, various interpretive frameworks have emerged to shed light on this important aspect of the Christian faith. One such framework involves a deep dive into the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity. By exploring the cultural and societal factors that influenced beliefs about Jesus' nature during His time on earth, Christians can gain a better understanding of the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God. This comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts can also provide valuable insights into how various faith traditions interpret and understand the nature of Jesus. Additionally, investigating the role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' nature is crucial for believers seeking to delve deeper into this theological debate. By examining alternative interpretations of key biblical passages related to Jesus' divinity, Christians can gain a more nuanced understanding of the implications of rejecting traditional Christian teachings on Jesus' nature. Furthermore, exploring the implications of Jesus' humanity for His perceived divinity can challenge long-held beliefs about the nature of Christ. By discussing the impact of beliefs about Jesus' nature on religious practices and beliefs, Christians can engage in meaningful dialogue about the complexities of Jesus' identity and the role of biblical scholarship in shaping views on Jesus' divinity. Ultimately, by delving into these interpretive frameworks for understanding Jesus, believers can deepen their faith and gain a richer understanding of the complexities of the Christian belief in Jesus as the Son of God. Controversies over Translation and Interpretation Controversies over translation and interpretation have played a significant role in shaping the debate surrounding Jesus' divinity. For Christians seeking to understand the nature of Jesus, the Bible serves as the primary source of information. However, the translation and interpretation of key verses have led to differing views on whether Jesus is truly divine. In the book Challenging the Trinity, 50 Bible Verses on Jesus' Non-Divinity, the author delves into the complexities of biblical translation and interpretation. By examining various passages, the author challenges traditional Christian teachings on Jesus' nature and presents alternative interpretations that question His divinity. One of the key issues at the heart of the debate is the interpretation of words and phrases in the original biblical languages. The nuances of Greek and Hebrew can greatly impact the meaning of a verse, leading to different understandings of Jesus' identity. Furthermore, cultural and societal factors also influence beliefs about Jesus' nature. Different religious traditions may have varying interpretations of key passages, leading to diverse views on Jesus' divinity. As Christians grapple with these controversies, it is important to consider the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God. How does His humanity impact His perceived divinity? And what role does biblical scholarship play in shaping our views on this contentious issue? Ultimately, exploring the role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' nature is essential for Christians seeking to deepen their faith and grapple with the complexities of the Trinity. By engaging with alternative interpretations and examining the historical context of the debate, believers can gain a deeper understanding of Jesus' identity and the implications of rejecting traditional teachings on His divinity. Chapter 7 – Examining the Implications of Jesus' Humanity for His Perceived Divinity Human Aspects of Jesus in the Bible In the subchapter Human Aspects of Jesus in the Bible, we delve into the intricate layers of Jesus' nature as depicted in the Scriptures. Many Christians have long held the belief in the divinity of Jesus, 
but this book challenges that notion by presenting 50 Bible verses that point to Jesus' humanity rather than his deity. Through a comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts, we aim to shed light on the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity. By analyzing the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God, we open up a dialogue on the implications of this controversial perspective. One key aspect we explore is the role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' nature. How have cultural and societal factors influenced beliefs about Jesus' nature over time? What implications does Jesus' humanity have for his perceived divinity? We also discuss the impact of biblical scholarship on shaping views on Jesus' divinity and how alternative interpretations of key biblical passages can challenge traditional teachings. By investigating the implications of rejecting these teachings, we invite readers to reconsider their beliefs about Jesus' nature and the impact this may have on religious practices and beliefs. Join us on this thought-provoking journey as we explore the human aspects of Jesus in the Bible and challenge traditional views on His divinity. Theological Views on Jesus' Humanity In the ongoing debate over the nature of Jesus, one of the key points of contention is His humanity. While traditional Christian teachings emphasize Jesus' divinity, there are those who challenge this notion by focusing on His humanity. This subchapter delves into the theological implications of viewing Jesus as a human being rather than as God incarnate. Exploring the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity reveals that early Christians grappled with questions surrounding Jesus' nature. The Bible itself contains verses that can be interpreted as supporting Jesus' humanity, such as when he experiences hunger, thirst, and fatigue. By examining these verses in depth, we can gain a better understanding of Jesus' humanity and its significance in the context of his perceived divinity. Furthermore, the role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' nature cannot be overlooked. Different translations and interpretations of key biblical passages can lead to varying views on Jesus' humanity. By critically analyzing these translations and interpretations, we can uncover alternative understandings of Jesus' nature that challenge traditional Christian teachings. Ultimately, rejecting Jesus as God in favor of emphasizing His humanity has profound implications for religious practices and beliefs. It forces us to reconsider the cultural and societal factors that influence our beliefs about Jesus' nature and to explore alternative interpretations of key biblical passages related to His divinity. In conclusion, this subchapter aims to shed light on the theological views surrounding Jesus' humanity and its impact on our understanding of His divinity. By challenging traditional teachings and exploring alternative interpretations, we can deepen our appreciation for the complex nature of Jesus as both human and divine. Reconciling Jesus' humanity with divine status One of the most challenging aspects of Christian theology is the concept of Jesus' dual nature as both fully human and fully divine. While traditional Christian teachings uphold the belief in Jesus' divine status, there are numerous verses in the Bible that challenge this notion. In this subchapter, we will delve into the complexities of reconciling Jesus' humanity with his perceived divinity. Many scholars and theologians argue that Jesus' humanity is essential to understanding his divine status. By embracing Jesus' humanity, we can appreciate the depth of his sacrifice and the extent of his love for humanity. This perspective allows us to see Jesus not as an unreachable deity, but as a relatable figure who experienced the full range of human emotions and struggles. A comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts reveals that the concept of Jesus' divinity is not universally accepted. In fact, many religious traditions view Jesus as a prophet or a wise teacher, rather than as a divine being. This diversity of beliefs highlights the importance of exploring alternative interpretations of key biblical passages related to Jesus' divinity. Furthermore, analyzing the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God challenges us to reconsider our understanding of salvation and redemption. If Jesus is not divine, what does that mean for our relationship with God and our eternal destiny? These questions force us to confront the cultural and societal factors that influence our beliefs about Jesus' nature. In conclusion, reconciling Jesus' humanity with his divine status requires us to engage in a deep and nuanced exploration of scripture, tradition, and reason. 
By grappling with the complexities of Jesus' nature, we can deepen our faith and broaden our understanding of God's love for humanity. Chapter 8 Discussing the Cultural and Societal Factors that Influence Beliefs About Jesus' Nature Cultural Views on Divinity and Humanity In the subchapter Cultural Views on Divinity and Humanity of the book Challenging the Trinity, 50 Bible Verses on Jesus' Non-Divinity, we delve into the various cultural perspectives on the nature of Jesus as both divine and human. This topic is of particular interest to Christian readers who may be grappling with traditional teachings on the divinity of Jesus and seeking a deeper understanding of the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God. One key aspect of this discussion is the comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts. By examining how various faith traditions interpret the nature of Jesus, readers can gain a broader perspective on the complexities of this theological debate. Additionally, exploring the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity sheds light on the evolution of beliefs about Jesus over time. Furthermore, the role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' nature cannot be understated. By analyzing how different translations and interpretations of key biblical passages have shaped beliefs about Jesus, readers can gain a deeper appreciation for the nuances of this theological debate. Ultimately, this subchapter encourages readers to critically examine their beliefs about Jesus' nature and consider alternative interpretations of key biblical passages. By engaging with diverse cultural views on divinity and humanity, readers can gain a more nuanced understanding of the implications of rejecting traditional Christian teachings on Jesus' nature. Societal Norms and Beliefs About Jesus Societal norms and beliefs about Jesus have been a topic of debate and discussion for centuries. In the Christian faith, Jesus is often seen as the Son of God, part of the Holy Trinity alongside God the Father and the Holy Spirit. However, there are those who challenge this traditional belief and argue that Jesus is not divine. One way to examine this perspective is to look at 50 Bible verses that suggest Jesus is not God. These verses can provide a different lens through which to view Jesus and his role in the Christian faith. By comparing these verses with traditional teachings on Jesus' divinity, we can gain a better understanding of the complexities surrounding this topic. It is also important to explore the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity. Different religious texts offer varying perspectives on the nature of Jesus, which can influence how individuals interpret his role in their faith. By delving into these texts, we can see how beliefs about Jesus have evolved over time and across different cultures. Additionally, examining the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God can shed light on the significance of this debate within the Christian community. How we understand Jesus' nature has far-reaching effects on our religious practices and beliefs. Overall, societal norms and beliefs about Jesus are deeply ingrained in our cultural and religious identities. By exploring alternative interpretations of key biblical passages and considering the impact of these beliefs on our faith, we can deepen our understanding of Jesus' humanity and its implications for His perceived divinity. Intersection of Culture and Theology The intersection of culture and theology is a complex and fascinating area of study, particularly when it comes to the debate over Jesus' divinity. In the book Challenging the Trinity, 50 Bible Verses on Jesus' Non-Divinity, the author delves into this contentious topic, providing a thought-provoking analysis for Christian readers. One key aspect explored in this subchapter is the role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' nature. The author discusses how cultural and societal factors can influence the way biblical texts are translated and interpreted, leading to varying beliefs about Jesus' divinity across different Christian denominations and traditions. The historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity is also examined, shedding light on the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God. By exploring alternative interpretations of key biblical passages related to Jesus' divinity, the author challenges readers to reconsider traditional Christian teachings and explore the implications of Jesus' humanity for his perceived divinity. Furthermore, the subchapter delves into the impact of beliefs about Jesus' nature on religious practices and beliefs, highlighting how differing views on Jesus' divinity can shape the way individuals worship and understand their faith. 
Overall, Intersection of Culture and Theology offers a comprehensive examination of the complex relationship between culture, theology, and beliefs about Jesus' nature, inviting readers to critically engage with the topic and consider the implications of rejecting traditional Christian teachings on this fundamental aspect of Christian doctrine. Chapter 9 Exploring the Role of Biblical Scholarship in Shaping Views on Jesus' Divinity Historical Development of Biblical Scholarship The historical development of biblical scholarship has played a crucial role in shaping views on Jesus' divinity. For centuries, theologians, scholars, and religious leaders have engaged in debates and discussions surrounding the nature of Jesus as portrayed in the Bible. This subchapter delves into the evolution of biblical scholarship and its impact on understanding Jesus' non-divinity. From the early days of Christianity to the present, scholars have analyzed and interpreted various biblical passages to unravel the mystery of Jesus' nature. The quest to understand Jesus' relationship to God and His role in salvation has led to theological debates and disagreements within the Christian community. By examining the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity, readers can gain insight into the diverse perspectives and interpretations that have emerged over time. From the early church fathers to modern theologians, different interpretations of key biblical passages have shaped beliefs about Jesus' nature and identity. Furthermore, this subchapter explores the implications of rejecting traditional Christian teachings on Jesus' divinity. By challenging the notion of Jesus as God, readers are encouraged to explore alternative interpretations of biblical passages and consider the theological implications of viewing Jesus as a human prophet rather than a divine being. Overall, the historical development of biblical scholarship has played a significant role in shaping views on Jesus' divinity. By examining the cultural, societal, and theological factors that influence beliefs about Jesus' nature, readers can gain a deeper understanding of the complexities surrounding this age-old debate. Key Scholars and Their Views on Jesus In the ongoing debate over the divinity of Jesus, there have been numerous scholars throughout history who have offered their perspectives on this controversial topic. These scholars have delved deep into religious texts, historical contexts, and theological implications to challenge the traditional Christian belief that Jesus is God. Their views provide valuable insights for Christians seeking to explore alternative interpretations of key biblical passages related to Jesus' nature. One prominent scholar who has challenged the notion of Jesus' divinity is Bart Ehrman. Ehrman, a respected biblical scholar and author, has argued that the belief in Jesus as God was a later development in Christian theology, influenced by Greco-Roman ideas of divinity. He believes that Jesus was a human being who was exalted to a divine status after his death, rather than being God incarnate from the beginning. Another scholar who has made significant contributions to the debate over Jesus' divinity is Karen Armstrong. Armstrong, a former non-turn-historian of religion, has explored the cultural and societal factors that have shaped beliefs about Jesus' nature. She argues that the early Christians' understanding of Jesus as God was influenced by the political and social context in which they lived, rather than being a reflection of historical reality. By examining the views of scholars like Ehrman and Armstrong, Christians can gain a deeper understanding of the complexities surrounding the nature of Jesus. These scholars challenge traditional Christian teachings on Jesus' divinity, inviting believers to reconsider their beliefs in light of historical, cultural, and textual evidence. As Christians grapple with the implications of rejecting the idea of Jesus as God, engaging with the insights of key scholars can offer new perspectives and avenues for exploration in their faith journey. Contemporary Debates in Biblical Scholarship in the world of biblical scholarship, there are ongoing debates surrounding the nature of Jesus and His divinity. For Christians, the belief in Jesus as God is a foundational tenet of their faith. However, there are those who challenge this traditional understanding and offer alternative interpretations based on biblical verses and historical context. One such perspective is presented in the book Challenging the Trinity, 50 Bible Verses on Jesus' Non-Divinity which provides a comprehensive analysis of scriptures that suggest Jesus is not God. This book is sure to spark discussion and debate among Christian readers who may have never considered alternative viewpoints on this topic. 
A comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts sheds light on the diverse beliefs about Jesus' nature across various faith traditions. By exploring these perspectives, readers can gain a deeper understanding of the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God. Examining the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity reveals how cultural and societal factors have influenced beliefs about Jesus' nature throughout history. Additionally, investigating the role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' nature highlights the complexities of interpreting ancient texts. Furthermore, exploring the implications of Jesus' humanity for his perceived divinity challenges traditional Christian teachings and opens up new possibilities for understanding his role in salvation history. By delving into alternative interpretations of key biblical passages related to Jesus' divinity, readers can expand their understanding of this complex theological issue. Ultimately, the debate over Jesus' divinity is not just an academic exercise but has real-world implications for religious practices and beliefs. By engaging with these contemporary debates in biblical scholarship, Christians can deepen their faith and gain a more nuanced understanding of Jesus' nature. Chapter 10 Investigating the Implications of Rejecting Traditional Christian Teachings on Jesus' Nature Challenges to Traditional Views on Jesus the subchapter Challenges to Traditional Views on Jesus delves into the complex and controversial topic of Jesus' divinity. For centuries, the belief in Jesus as God has been a cornerstone of traditional Christian theology. However, this view has been increasingly challenged by scholars, theologians, and believers who question the traditional understanding of Jesus' nature. One of the key challenges to traditional views on Jesus is the interpretation of biblical verses that seem to suggest his non-divinity. In Challenging the Trinity, 50 Bible Verses on Jesus' Non-Divinity, the author presents a thought-provoking analysis of these verses, inviting readers to reconsider their beliefs about Jesus' identity. Furthermore, the subchapter explores the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity, shedding light on the cultural and societal factors that have influenced beliefs about Jesus' nature. By examining the role of translation and interpretation in shaping views on Jesus' divinity, readers are encouraged to critically engage with the texts and traditions that have shaped their understanding of Jesus. Moreover, the subchapter delves into the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God, raising important questions about the nature of salvation, redemption, and the relationship between humanity and the divine. By exploring alternative interpretations of key biblical passages related to Jesus' divinity, readers are challenged to broaden their perspectives and consider new possibilities for understanding Jesus' nature. Ultimately, challenges to traditional views on Jesus invites readers to engage in a deep and meaningful exploration of the implications of rejecting traditional Christian teachings on Jesus' nature. By grappling with these challenging questions, readers are encouraged to critically reflect on their beliefs and consider the diverse range of perspectives that exist within the Christian tradition. Responses to Critiques of Jesus' Divinity In the ongoing debate over Jesus' divinity, there are numerous critiques that challenge the traditional Christian belief in His status as God. These critiques often stem from various perspectives including biblical scholarship, historical context, and cultural beliefs. As Christians, it is essential to consider these critiques thoughtfully and engage in meaningful dialogue to deepen our understanding of Jesus' nature. One common critique of Jesus' divinity is rooted in a comparative study of religious texts. By examining the deity of Jesus in different religious traditions, we can gain valuable insights into how various faiths perceive His nature. This comparative approach can shed light on the diverse interpretations of Jesus' identity and challenge us to reevaluate our own beliefs. Furthermore, exploring the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity can provide important context for understanding the theological implications of rejecting his status as God. By delving into the cultural and societal factors that have influenced beliefs about Jesus' nature, we can better appreciate the complexities of this long-standing theological controversy. Additionally, investigating the role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' nature is crucial for grappling with the nuances of biblical texts. By examining alternative interpretations of key passages related to Jesus' divinity, 
we can broaden our perspectives and engage in a more nuanced discussion of his identity. Ultimately, responding to critiques of Jesus' divinity requires a willingness to engage with diverse perspectives, consider historical and cultural contexts, and critically examine biblical texts. By doing so, we can deepen our understanding of Jesus' humanity and its implications for his perceived divinity. Reimagining Christian Theology Without Jesus as God Reimagining Christian theology without Jesus as God opens up a world of theological possibilities and challenges traditional beliefs held by many Christians. This subchapter delves into the controversial topic of Jesus' divinity, presenting a fresh perspective that may be unsettling to some readers. The Bible is a rich source of wisdom and guidance, but interpreting its verses requires a critical eye and an open mind. By examining 50 verses that question Jesus' divinity, readers are encouraged to engage with the text in a new way, challenging long-held beliefs and exploring alternative interpretations. A comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts sheds light on the diverse beliefs surrounding Jesus' nature. By placing Christianity in a broader religious context, readers gain a deeper understanding of the complexities of this theological debate. Historical context plays a crucial role in shaping beliefs about Jesus' divinity. By exploring the cultural and societal factors that influence these beliefs, readers gain insight into the evolving nature of Christian theology. The implications of rejecting traditional teachings on Jesus' nature are vast and far-reaching. This subchapter encourages readers to grapple with the theological and practical consequences of viewing Jesus as a human figure rather than a divine being. Ultimately, reimagining Christian theology without Jesus as God challenges readers to engage with their faith in a new and profound way. By questioning long-held beliefs and exploring alternative interpretations, readers are invited to embark on a journey of theological discovery and reflection. Chapter 11, Exploring Alternative Interpretations of Key Biblical Passages Related to Jesus' Divinity Non-Trinitarian Readings of the Bible Non-Trinitarian readings of the Bible offer a different perspective on the nature of Jesus and his relationship to God. While the traditional Christian doctrine of the Trinity posits that Jesus is fully divine and part of the Godhead, non-Trinitarian interpretations challenge this belief and argue that Jesus is not God. In challenging the Trinity, 50 Bible verses on Jesus' non-divinity, readers are presented with a selection of verses from the Bible that are often cited to support the view that Jesus is not God. These verses, when examined in their historical and cultural context, offer a compelling case for re-evaluating traditional beliefs about Jesus' nature. A comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts sheds light on how various faith traditions understand the figure of Jesus. By exploring how Jesus is portrayed in texts beyond the Bible, readers can gain a broader perspective on the theological debates surrounding his divinity. The implications of rejecting Jesus as God are far-reaching, affecting not only beliefs about salvation and redemption but also shaping religious practices and rituals. By delving into the role of translation, interpretation, and cultural factors in understanding Jesus' nature, readers can better grasp the complexities of this theological debate. Ultimately, challenging the Trinity invites Christian readers to critically engage with alternative interpretations of key biblical passages related to Jesus' divinity and consider how these perspectives may impact their own beliefs and practices. Through a thorough examination of the evidence, readers can deepen their understanding of Jesus' humanity and its implications for his perceived divinity. Interpretive Strategies for Challenging the Trinity In the ongoing debate over the nature of Jesus, Christians are often confronted with the challenge of reconciling traditional beliefs with alternative interpretations of key biblical passages. This subchapter explores various interpretive strategies that can be used to challenge the concept of the Trinity in Jesus' divinity. One approach is to closely examine the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity. By understanding the cultural and societal factors that influenced beliefs about Jesus' nature in the early church, Christians can gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity of this theological issue. Another strategy is to analyze the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God. By exploring the implications of Jesus' humanity for his perceived divinity, 
Christians can begin to see how traditional teachings about Jesus' nature have shaped their beliefs and practices. Furthermore, investigating the role of translation and interpretation in understanding Jesus' nature can shed light on how different versions of the Bible have influenced our understanding of key passages related to Jesus' divinity. By exploring alternative interpretations of these passages, Christians can challenge traditional views and open up new avenues for dialogue and exploration. Ultimately, this subchapter encourages Christians to engage in a comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts. By examining the similarities and differences between Christian beliefs and those of other faith traditions, Christians can gain a broader perspective on this complex and multifaceted theological issue. Reinterpreting Key Texts on Jesus' Nature In the subchapter Reinterpreting Key Texts on Jesus' Nature, the book Challenging the Trinity delves into the foundational texts that have shaped traditional Christian beliefs about Jesus' divinity. By examining these key texts through a fresh lens, the author challenges readers to reconsider long-held beliefs and explore alternative interpretations. One of the central themes explored in this subchapter is the role of translation and interpretation in shaping our understanding of Jesus' nature. By delving into the original languages and historical context of biblical texts, readers are invited to reconsider traditional interpretations and explore new perspectives on Jesus' humanity and divinity. The subchapter also delves into the theological implications of rejecting Jesus as God. By engaging with alternative interpretations of key biblical passages, readers are encouraged to reflect on the impact of these beliefs on their religious practices and beliefs. Through a comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts, readers are challenged to consider how cultural and societal factors influence beliefs about Jesus' nature. By examining the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity and the role of biblical scholarship in shaping views on this topic, readers are invited to engage in a deeper exploration of their faith. Ultimately, reinterpreting key texts on Jesus' nature encourages readers to critically examine traditional Christian teachings and explore new perspectives on the nature of Jesus. Chapter 12 Discussing the Impact of Beliefs About Jesus' Nature on Religious Practices and Beliefs Worship Practices and Jesus' Divinity In the subchapter Worship Practices and Jesus' Divinity, we delve into the implications of Jesus' non-divinity on Christian worship practices. For centuries, the belief in the Trinity has been a cornerstone of Christian doctrine, with Jesus being worshipped as God incarnate. However, a closer examination of the Bible reveals verses that challenge this traditional belief. When we consider Jesus' humanity and the fact that He explicitly referred to God as His Father, it raises questions about His own divinity. The Gospel of John, often cited as evidence of Jesus' divinity, also contains verses where Jesus clearly distinguishes Himself from God the Father. This calls into question the traditional understanding of the Trinity and the worship practices associated with it. For Christians who have long held steadfast to the belief in Jesus as God, Grappling with the idea of his non divinity can be unsettling. It forces us to reconsider the very foundation of our faith and how we approach worship. If Jesus is not God, how does that change the way we pray, sing hymns, and participate in rituals that have long been centered around his divinity? Exploring alternative interpretations of key biblical passages related to Jesus' divinity can shed light on new ways of understanding and approaching worship practices. It challenges us to engage with the text in a deeper, more critical way, and to consider the implications of rejecting traditional Christian teachings on Jesus' nature. Ultimately, the debate over Jesus' divinity has profound implications for how we worship and what we believe. By confronting these challenging questions head-on, we can deepen our understanding of our faith and the role of Jesus in our spiritual lives. Sacraments in Jesus' Nature in the subchapter Sacraments and Jesus' Nature, we delve into the relationship between the sacraments of the Christian faith and the nature of Jesus as non-divine. Many Christians believe that Jesus is God incarnate, and as such, the sacraments hold a special significance in their faith. However, for those who challenge the traditional view of Jesus' divinity, the sacraments take on a different meaning. The sacraments, such as baptism and communion, are seen as outward signs of inward grace in many Christian traditions. 
They are believed to be channels through which believers can experience the presence of God and receive His blessings. But if Jesus is not God, how do we understand the sacraments in this context? Some may argue that the sacraments are symbolic acts that remind us of the teachings and example of Jesus, who was a human being chosen by God to bring salvation to humanity. In this view, the sacraments serve as a way for believers to connect with the teachings of Jesus and to experience His love and grace in a tangible way. Others may see the sacraments as communal rituals that help to strengthen the bonds of fellowship among believers, regardless of their beliefs about Jesus' nature. The act of coming together to participate in these rituals can be a powerful expression of unity and shared faith, even if there are differing interpretations of Jesus' identity. Ultimately, the relationship between the sacraments and Jesus' nature is a complex and nuanced one that invites us to reflect on the meaning and purpose of these sacred practices in light of our beliefs about Jesus' divinity. By exploring this connection, we can deepen our understanding of both the sacraments and the nature of Jesus in the Christian tradition. Theological Diversity Within Christianity Theological diversity within Christianity is a topic that has sparked intense debate and discussion throughout history. In the book Challenging the Trinity, 50 Bible Verses on Jesus' Non-Divinity, the author delves into the various perspectives within Christianity regarding the nature of Jesus. This subchapter explores the wide range of beliefs held by Christians regarding the divinity of Jesus, shedding light on the complexity of this theological issue. One of the key aspects discussed in this subchapter is the comparative study of the deity of Jesus in different religious texts. By examining how various religious traditions interpret the nature of Jesus, readers gain a deeper understanding of the diversity of beliefs within Christianity. Furthermore, the historical context of the debate over Jesus' divinity is explored, highlighting the evolution of theological thought on this topic over time. The role of translation and interpretation in shaping views on Jesus' nature is also examined, emphasizing the importance of understanding the cultural and linguistic context in which biblical texts were written. The implications of rejecting traditional Christian teachings on Jesus' divinity are discussed, as well as the impact of beliefs about Jesus' nature on religious practices and beliefs. By exploring alternative interpretations of key biblical passages related to Jesus' divinity, readers are encouraged to think critically about their own beliefs and the broader theological landscape within Christianity. Overall, this subchapter provides a comprehensive overview of the theological diversity within Christianity, challenging readers to consider the complexities of this important theological issue.